right, so I'm responding to David Marino's question. In the body of the question, he says that the Iran nuclear deal is very good for world peace in the long run. Um, and then he asks, um, even though there's a lot of examples where sanctions have not worked, is the recent happenings with Iran an example where they have? Um, one of the main stipulations of the Iran deal is that sanctions are lifted, which means the current administration doesn't think they're working. So I would say that no, this is not an example where sanctions have worked. If you're referring to the Iran nuclear deal, um, I would say that it's not a very good deal for world peace in the long run. Um, it basically postpones their ability to have a nuclear weapon. It doesn't prevent it at all. Ten years from now, their ability to enhance uranium goes up exponentially in their capacity for that, and it reduces their breakout time to a few weeks instead of a year, as previously thought. Also, um, currently, um, as soon as they did all of the things they were supposed to do to have sanctions lifted, they violated a UN Security Council resolution and um, tested ballistic missiles in October and November. Um, they fired rockets near a U.S. aircraft carrier, and they captured and humiliated 10 Navy sailors. So to say that this is a really good deal for world peace in the long run is a pretty big stretch, I would have to say. Um, also, you asked, um, could sanctions done in maybe a more calculated way than previously, previously thought aid the world in helping to stop the atrocities of many of the country, country's regimes? I think there's always room for improvement, especially within government. So yeah, I mean, if we could find a better way for sanctions to work, I think absolutely it would be useful. And then the, sec the second part of the question um, says, what about sanctions aimed at countries that are not dictatorships that are democratic? Let's say Estonia starts greatly persecuting a certain sector of their citizens with the public's approval and in a democratic manner, and does that change the way you do sanctions? Um, I think the big issue with that is that it, it's a sovereign nation, um, which is a lot of where um, the U.S. runs into issues with genocide in general. So when you're talking about persecution and it's voted on and all of that, whether or not they can step in is kind of a gray area. Um, I mean, if you think about sterilization in Sweden, um, that that's written law that says that essentially um, – mentally insane people need to be sterilized. In 2012, it was still legal. Um, it was mandatory to be sterilized before you had a sex change. So, I mean, we don't put sanctions on Sweden. So, um, I don't know. That that's, that's a big foreign policy issue. I think a lot of people agree with that and kind of wonder why the U.S. doesn't step in on genocide and things like that. Um, but at the same time, you, it's the same people that say the U.S. shouldn't be the world's policeman. So I don't know. It's kind of a big gray area. But um, good question. Um, thanks.